Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm an independent contractor and trainer. Now, I first started programming in C++ in about 1996. And at the time, I used DJGPP, which is a C++ compiler for DOS. And I was recently reminded of DJGPP, and I thought that I would go back to it and see what the status was. And as you can see here at delorey.com slash djgpp, the website is up and still fully functional, but it doesn't give much hope for thinking that this project is still maintained, since we have our official djgpp y2k statement and the current status with Windows 2000 support. So if we look for any information on getting started, we can see in the user's guide how to set up DJGPP, and if we look at the installation directions, we see that it looks like GCC 2.72, perhaps, is the version most recently supported, and that is quite a number of years old. In fact, that might be the last time that I actually used DJGPP on DOS. So I thought, well, I still want to demonstrate using modern C++ features on DOS. And I came up with this elaborate plan. It basically started with doing a modern compilation on a modern operating system with GCC 7, and then getting the assembly language output of that, and then passing that assembly language output into the assembler that DJGPP provides, hence giving us an executable that we can run on DOS. And I started down this road by acquiring FreeDOS. And FreeDOS comes with a set of development packages. So if you have installed FreeDOS as I have here in my VMware virtual machine, you'll notice that it doesn't come with a lot of packages installed even if you do a full installation. As you can see here, I have my virtual disk for my FDOS installation CD mounted. So with that mounted, I can run fdimples, and it will show me all of the possible packages that I can install. And I have already installed several, but what you want to take a look at is development. And in here you have DJGPP, and it is telling you DJGPP version 2.03 is available, and it has its binary utilities and the C and C++ compiler. But you notice something interesting here, that if you look at DJGPP, it actually tells you for the C++ compiler that it is version 4.71, and that is quite a bit more modern than we were led to believe. And I have set up networking, and by installing the networking tools and using a virtual machine, it is able to pretty much automatically pick up DHCP, and we can use wget to grab more tools. So once you have your development tools set up, you can go into the DJGPP folder that has been created for you, and into the bin directory, and if you try to execute GPP, as it is called here, uh, you might get something not too happy. But once we set up the djdir environment variable, we can see that we do in fact have djgbp or gcc 4.71 from 2012. And with the rhide or rhide development environment, we can do something like this. And we're using, you know, relatively modern C++ features here. Uh, that is compared to what we would expect to find on DOS. And we can, you know, Let's just make sure that we all agree what is happening here. I'm going to put an inline lambda immediately invoked. And we should be able to get this to compile with our compiler options set to C11 and our optimization turn on. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. 
Now, I will say that compiling with GCC on DOS is considerably slower than you would expect it to be. And I imagine that the main reason is that we only have a few megabytes of RAM available to us, not the multiple gigabytes that GCC would expect on a modern computer. And it is compiled, and that took actually several minutes to compile our Hello World, and now it is linking it in with libstud C++, um, basically from GCC here. And that should hopefully not take quite as long as compiling did. And there we go. We got Hello World run from the program, and then the program exit code of zero came back to us. So this works. We have proven to ourselves that we can at least do C++11. Now, GCC 4.71 is a little old. So I was looking to see, again, like how do I get C++17? And I noticed while browsing the FTP site for DJGPP that if I go into the current and v2 GNU folders, and scroll down here, I see that we actually have GCC 7.1 available. That was published here on May 3rd. So they are continuing to update GCC for DOS and continuing to publish the results. So with a little bit of tweaking to the instructions for how to download DJGBP, we can actually download GCC 7.1 instead of one of the older versions that it recommends. And I have done that here, and I have put it in the new DJGPP folder. And we have the exact same thing that we needed to do a moment ago, and that is set our DJDIR equal to the new location. And we can see that we have our G++ here. And we have version 7.1.0 released in 2017. But the C17 support seems to still be uh, perhaps not 100% correct. If I try to build with C17 mode enabled, that test file that we were just working with, we're going to get a build error at least we did the last time I tried this, we can see that the compiler has complained that it cannot find the string view header. Now I have verified that that header actually does exist, but somewhere in the conversion from short file names to long file names or something with DOS support, it doesn't seem to be able to find it, and uh, it's probably something that they're working on. So. If you really wanted to make sure that you had modern C++ compiler available on DOS, you can go here to this uh, GitHub repository, Andrew WUTW build -gp, DJ GPP, which gives you a handy script for automatically building a cross compiler on Linux or Windows or Mac or whatever have you for DJGPP. So you can fairly easily just say, I want to build DJGPP version 7.1 as a cross compiler on Linux, and then you could compile and then immediately execute that code in DOSBox in your Linux environment or Windows environment. And this could give you some interesting ways of playing with a world where you had more direct access to the hardware. So thank you for following along with me on this little bit of nostalgia, and uh, hopefully if for some reason you are stuck on DOS work or you need to go back and maintain some of it, perhaps you can use DJGPP in a modern incarnation and get some modern C++ deployed on your 30-year-old operating system. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.